Yeah, so just so you can see, this is the talent build that I'm going for this Mythic Plus 10. It is on the Azure build, it is a pug group, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of pulls the tank's going to be doing, but I think this is a good just general overall jack of all trades build. Things might get changed in the future, depending on Junin, but for the testing in Mythic Plus, this is what I'm going to be going for right now, team. My wrath is many things, but harmless is not one of them. These whelplings perceive anyone not of my blood as a threat. Yeah, so we've got Volcanic, Spiteful and Grievous. Bit of a weird choice, I don't know why they're not playing the Thunder okay so so this is the awkward situation you've got when you pull trash and you've not got cataclysm down so you're kind of forced into the hard casting cat on all of them of course it's completely up to you you can forego that but you're going to be losing out on a lot of shard gem It's one of those awkward situations where you wish you were on comms with the tank so you knew exactly what he was going to pull. Because if I knew he was going to pull these, maybe I would have delayed the Cataclysm. But, you can't know what you don't know, right? Pointless dwelling on it. One thing that you might notice as well in this kind of build that I've been going for is that you don't play Sacrifice. It takes some getting used to remembering to have to keep someone in your path, but once you get into the swing of it, it's, you know, it's not different than what you used to. Did try and get the Soul Keeper out before that's done there because I knew it was coming in, but not quite quick enough. It's also at the awkward stage where we're just trying to figure out, you know, when it might be best to just Rain of Fire versus Chaos Bolt. As soon as I know, I'll let you know, but it, it's a bit of feely craft going on at the minute. It does not help when we get stunned like this all the time and not get the spell. It's a bit weird, like, playing this with the best specs that we've got in here at the minute with the Demon Hunter and the Mage. I have been playing my Shadow Priest quite a bit, and I wasn't playing bursty classes, so things lived for a little bit longer, and we were doing plus 15, so it's a bit different. But still, still see how it goes. The Infernal into the Chaos Bolt spawn, get the Conflux going. It's awkward when you've got the Infernal going and you're trying to fit in that channel Demon Fire without feeling like you're doing it wrong, if that makes sense. I'm out of reach. That's something as well that you're just going to have to feel for. I could have got that off. Not used to the different uh, levels of haste that you've got, you know, on the beta versus uh, live at the minute, and that hurts a lot. Jesus. Let's get the healer up. 
Hopefully we break a few more trees this time. Otherwise not so why. Yeah, just so I, I know quite a few people are going to be thinking that my mic sounds worse, if not just different. Um, that's because when, for some weird reason, I don't know what's wrong with my microphone. But what I've found is that when I stream, and you know, it's on um, Streamlabs, my recording mic actually just sounds like completely different to what it does with I do an overvoice over on um, like my Adobe Premiere. It's really weird, I'm not entirely sure why, but that's, yeah. I've looked into it and I am looking at just getting a standing desk mic in the future just because obviously I want to take this seriously and I want you guys to be able to listen to me without having to want to rip your ears out, so hopefully I get that standing mic uh, sooner rather than later. Hopefully this tank kills the boss. Yeah, there we are. So one thing that I've toyed with the idea of is just simply just playing the single target build. You know, when you've got Reign of Chaos and you've got Roar and Blaze and um, Chaos Incarnate. Purely just because I feel like with Chaos Bolt being your top damage in an AoE scenario still. I don't know if Azure Bolt isn't exactly the best test for this because it's... The, the pulls and the packs in this dungeon are just so small compared to some of the other dungeons like Halls of Valor. But the I just thought maybe, you know, if you just play the single target build, it might just fare better overall. While it marveled to behold, I am unsure of what effects it will have on your mortal form. Do be on the lookout for the growth of extra appendages. Get that rain of fire down just so we can get the damage buff from the pyrogenic. You do really feel the dam damage uh, drop off when that havoc ends, though, which isn't amazing, but you can expect it, right? Havoc being such a big part of the destruction warlock AoE situation now, especially with the cleave from crying havoc. Just something you'll have to learn to play around, especially, and it's a lot easier, providing that you've got. A tank on comms, and I know I keep repeating it, but it does make the world a difference. Like, I would not like do a push key on live at the minute without having the tank on a Discord or something. It's just so frustrating. Even more so when on live you're playing Demonology and you've got the Tyrant, you and you know, your tank pulls a small pack and you've got full CDs, and it's rough. Of the vaults, caretakers are flightless. I incorporated a means of safe travel via these tomes. Oh, and he's pulled even more. It means we're hard dotting up, but I'm glad I didn't use Channel Demon Fire until I had everything dotted up. And am I going to get by that now? Right now, though, another annoying scenario where you've got Cataclysm coming up soon and you didn't want to wait. I'm grateful for these routes, though, with the Volcanic because the Volcanic doesn't really do much to Warlock, as you probably know. And you're not going to get knocked up if you've got the route. Could have probably set that up a bit better. I did have Inferno in the later half of it, but I just didn't see the point in using it. Things were dying so quickly, especially with this prop warrior damage. Maybe I use on this. I'll use it here. Yeah. Fine. Thought he might pull this. The Rain of Fire going for the Pyrogenic. And then we just get a few Chaos Bolts in with this Havoc window. Now that's over, we go back to just doing Rain of Fire. As soon as you get the Muscle Memory down for it, it's going to be a lot easier to do this on live as well. Because it may feel a bit clunky and a bit, you know, if you're a bit unsure of when to use Chaos Bolt versus Rain of Fire, there's not a clear-cut thing yet of, you know, X targets and 
wide targets for Chaos Bolt. But that'll all come closer to when it's put onto retail. Because, you know, you've got Calamari and all those other guys that do the theory crafting. And they're pretty on point when it comes to the uh, simulation craft and things like that. They're much closer to reality than I could ever get. So I wouldn't even waste my time trying. So I'm always going to be appreciative for those guys for doing stuff like that. Because it's just something that I can't do. You know, I'm not a numbers man. But the things that they do for the Warlock community is, that, you know, it's crazy how many people he actually helps out with stuff like that. I need more haste before I can keep trying to do that. Keep trying to beat the Volcanic, you know. Choose to get in my own way. Should have waited on that and I've got blasphemy up here and it's wasted. See, there's still loads of mistakes that I'm making, but we just learn as we go along. We learning. Something as well that I need to just get better at doing is summoning my soul keeper. I am atrocious with it. Okay, this could be a decent pull. Make use of the rain of fire and the channel demon fire that we've got going now with so many targets having him later. Now we've got a Havoc up. We're gonna blast. If there is anything that I can advise you guys, is make sure that you're getting into the habit of keeping up pyrogenics. It's a 5% damage increase for all fire abilities, and likes for demon fire as well. See there, the rain of fire did come on top of Kersbull, but I do think it was just because we pulled it without Havoc. Didn't have a cup at the time, you know. Other than the first boss, though, this is going pretty smoothly, I must say. I just wish that there was more opportunities to do big AoE like that. Channel Demon Fire, as soon as you get the Cataclysm going. Might try and get a cheeky Havoc off one of these shades, whilst we're only on a single target mini buff. Tank's having a lot of fun. Oh, 
Save Havoc for the next one. But at least now with the uh, Immolate Aura, not Immolate Aura, sorry, the Immolate Dot Damage buff, it's going to be a lot. Oof. It's going to be on the uh, priority list of being quite up on top, especially on multi target situations. It already was, but the fact that it, the damage actually does something other than just generate soul shards is very nice as well. Me. Take care of them. If I'd had that properly, that would have been a lot more damage as well. It's a shame. But you know, it just goes to show if even me, you know, putting out these videos and these little quickly put together guides, it, it's still getting, you know, used to pressing certain buttons in a certain order. As it's easy to sit there in front of a target dummy and put these together, but as soon as you put into any form of content where you've got a move or you get mechanics, it all changes regardless of what class or spec you play. But then, that makes sense to me as to why some of you guys really appreciate the videos because seeing it in a light where somebody's having to deal with mechanics instantly just changes you know the whole way of the video the whole precedent of it this door i sent the breach behind it the sundered flame must be this and as well just because i feel like this is a little bit more informal because you know i'm recording it on twitch and i'm actually uh <laughs> speaking as we do the run compared to just talking over it as is what I normally do. I feel bad for a lot of you know people that aren't from England when they listen to my videos purely just because my accent isn't easily recognizable and if I speak fast which I do tend to do and I really don't mean to guys like it, it's hard for me to slow down and try and be concise and careful and you guys have probably heard me stutter over my own words more times than I can count. But it's just where I'm from, like the northwest of England, the accents are crazy and if I get excited and you know I'm talking about a certain class or a certain new thing that I've found and I talk too quickly, it's hard to understand and I can only apologise. I'm trying to get better, the microphone situation doesn't help but I am, like I said, looking to get a stand desktop mic, should help out a lot more <laughs> but um, I, I appreciate you guys that you know stick with it and you know try and get through my horrible accents. It's just Scouse accents, they just weren't made for YouTubers, you know. <laughs> I don't think uh, they thought about that. I just, thought, I just thought I'd mention that, I don't know how many people know, but it's just... It's frustrating for me, listening back to the videos and the recordings. And I can only imagine what it's like for guys that aren't used to the accent anyway. But it just makes me appreciate it all that more, guys. I'm just going to Infernal Leaves, I don't know if it's worth it, but, you know. Channel Demon, sorry, I'm having to do more bit of later. I think I did mention in the Destruction Warlock changes, I do try and mostly use my Ritual procs on uh, Rain of Fire. Just because it guarantees the Pyrogenic debuff and uses more soul shards up so you're getting back into the uh, rotation of getting it back again, the blasphemy proc I mean. And I, get, I keep forgetting to soul keep that. It's rough. Just gonna look at the overall damage at the end of this dungeon and see how, how little it's doing. It's not even gonna be fun, it's gonna be sad. Try and extend these emulates before they all go away.
Frostbite seems to be doing a lot better than what it was in previous weeks. I don't know if they've had a tune on the rise though. It's nice to see though. You were only seeing fire mages. Everybody's playing arcane and dummies, but don't actually see any of them in uh, keystones anyway. Let's give this a go. We have everything up for this, so it should be decent. Decease, thank you. Enough. Freeze. Her secrets will be mine. This chaos bolt spawn, it just feels so nice. Alright, that's rough. 